After the Aston Villa defeat, there was a real need to inject some new blood into the squad, but with the time rapidly running out before the January transfer window closed, the manager had to work quickly, and in a triple swoop, Michael Ricketts, Malcolm Christie and Chris Riggett all put pen to paper for a delighted Steve McLaren. I always said all along, even in January, that we're always looking to improve our squad, and, and the same, uh, I know Keith won't like hearing this now, especially with these three sat here, but we're always looking to improve, uh, and come the summer there'll be no different. Our referee gave the free kick this time against Kevin Phillips. Well, maybe a chance now for Malcolm Christie. This could be three for Borough. It is. And Middlesbrough right back in front now. Sunderland having done all the hard work and pulled the game back around. Has seen Malcolm Christie score his first goal in a Borough shirt in his second appearance. It's all about the new boys for Steve McLaren. Well, we thought Sunderland were getting back into it. Yeah. That's changed it again, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. Kevin Kilban, we've got a lot to answer for for that little ball he knocked back. I mean, this is. You don't expect it to miss him from there. Goalkeeper doesn't know whether to come and smell the ball, doesn't know whether to stand and stay, and you could knock, him, knock it past him, no problem. Middlesbrough are very, very lucky for that that happened now. Well. It, it happened now, we've put them back two goals in front. Look, it's a bit out Pedro again. Pedro's ball in, and there it is, in the back of the net. Malcolm Christie will claim it. It was a good near post cross. And Malcolm Christie's added his second goal in a Borough shirt. A hint maybe that Richard Rufus got a touch as well. But that's the equaliser, and it's all bit deserved for Borough. Absolutely. The, the key was, as I said, up to the first half, the full-backs game forward. Quedrew's got forward there, got to run about the edge of the box, crossed it in early to the near post, and I said, I said goal before the, as the ball left his foot, because you could see it was going to get round the back of the defence. There, there he goes. Again. Christie gets across the front as a good goal scorer would. They're appealing for offside. Can't see it. Good goal. There's their good position for a fullback. Once he's bent it round there, Christie's a yard up and he's in. Good ball that from Kedrew. Job does really well. Now Christie has a little bit of space as well. Christie tries to turn one, beats two, has the shot, and Malcolm Christie has scored the opening goal of the game. And what a fantastic individual goal it was from Malcolm Christie. His third in a Middlesbrough shirt. Wing here, and as the ball came into the box, I mean, wonderful skill, beat two men, and you thought he was going to off, but what about that? He's just completely wrong-footed Russell Holt in the goal there, and the goalkeeper had no chance whatsoever. Just come back in himself, a little, it's like a little reverse pass into the bottom corner of the, of the goal net. Absolute clinical finishing that is. Well, wonderful is skill, wonderful finishing. Nice into us. Borough looked to break again. Stop there, had some space, but it's into Nemeth. Nemeth's got past his man. Gerard Nemeth, oh, great save. And Christie has opened the scoring for Middlesbrough. Well, credit to Gerard Nemeth, who did spectacularly well. Christie has got the goal. It does, but you've got to say the ball through him. I think it was it Wilson who's put the ball. It's a great ball, but that's great play. That he'd be disappointed not to score there, but fair play. Christie coming in. What a what a goal. What a finish. Well, those changes have paid off immediately, haven't they? Definitely, absolutely brilliant. Frank Kedrew was complaining of tiredness after his first game back on Sunday. As the ball comes across, yeah. Christie's put it in the back of the net. Malcolm Christie has finally broken the deadlock following a Jonathan Greening cross. And uh, lets it come across his shoulder, whips a great ball into the near post. He's gambled Christie to get across uh, his defender. And uh, quite an acrobatic flick in the end, and uh, good technique. No chance for the keeper. Christie will struggle to keep that in play, but he does it really well. Malcolm Christie needs some support in the middle now. Christie's going on his own. Oh, yes, it's a wonderful solo goal from Malcolm Christie. And Borough, as they did six days ago against Everton, has scored the early goal. Good run like this, turns the game, confident, sees the opportunity, gets over the ball. It's a great run and finish. Really has opened the game up, which has been an entertaining game for both teams so far. But that is a special strike by a striker who will give, it will give him such confidence. It's a wonderful strike. But Borough had little time to lick their wounds as just three days later, they began February with a midweek trip to Portsmouth and Malcolm Christie would find some consolation 
after a season ravaged by injury. Would you believe it's Malcolm Christie on his return? First game for the Borough since 2003, and he's put Borough in the lead at Pompey. Ports Yakuba looks for Arca. Arca inside the air. Doesn't get his shot away. Yakuba goes in. Christie! Goal! Oh, is it? Yes, it is. The referee has given the goal. And Malcolm Christie on his return has scored. And the Borough fans going wild over on the far side. It's Aston Villa nil. It's Middlesbrough 1. Yakuba. Yakuba to James Morrison. Right hand side of the penalty. In towards Malcolm Christie. Christie must surely finish. Christie has. And Middlesbrough have a two goal advantage at Ashton Gate.